Can we talk about edgy 2 rs kits now? Yes, let's get into the <laughs> best and worst kits of 2021. Let's just kick it off with Canyon Tram. If it ain't thick. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful kit. I love them. I, I have some of their socks, uh, wool socks that I wear every winter. You know, those kind of rainbow stripes going on in the black backdrop. Uh, I love their kit. Yeah, you know, some people might knock it for, you know, not really being a new design in 2021, but this is a kit that's nearing becoming a classic. It is, it's clean, it's crisp, it's smart, it's modern. I think that they've done a wonderful job. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Canyon Tram, you know, they are just one of the best kits out there. On the women's side as well, the Trek women improved upon their already strikingly good kit design and... You know, interest, interestingly, the men are kind of stuck with the same old, not bad, but not exactly interesting uh, Trek Segafredo kit going into 2021. And that is kind of the overall theme, I think, for the men's teams is the kits aren't really that revolutionary, that new, that different. You know, Kofidis has the same kit that they've had since the start of time. Dakuna Quickstep found a way to become even more blue. But there is one team out there, Gregor, that I think have revamped their image. And I just can't say enough how much I love it. I think you know what team I'm talking about. AG2R. I, I love it. Uh, I'm, a little bit current, I'm a little bit concerned about that white jersey when we see it, Van Evermatt there racing in the classics. Uh, it's going to show a lot of spray. I love the angled font, the big font on their AG2R. I love the brown color. I think they should do a brown jersey as well, be the UPS delivery guys out there racing on the cobbles, racing in the uh, big tours. Why not? I love it. Uh, for me, it's the best kit of the year just because it stands out. It's different. And what you said about the Kunick, it just gets boring. It looks like the working man's jersey out there. It looks pretty plain for what is a super team, and they could do much better. I, I'm excited to see what EF Nepo will do for their kit. I'm excited to see... Uh, when we get to Quebec's team out, they're sponsored by ASOS. When we when we see their kit roll out, so we have a few other kits to come out. But AG2R for me, it's it's taken the uh, the award so far for best team kit of 2021. Yeah, I think it's brilliant. They somehow managed to put their sponsor front and center, but make it look just so so tasteful. Well done, AG2R, La Citroen, Mondial, and you know, good good job mentioning this new EF Nippo team kit because I'm sure that they are going to try to tread that line between brilliant and disastrous, which uh, side of the line they end up on. We're all excited to see. And uh, Quebec ASOS, I think that uh, they are going in a very good direction. We've seen some teasers. They have had a poll on their Instagram about uh, choosing their team kit design. It looks like it is kind of embracing the team's mission of promoting cycling in Africa. I really like the direction that we've seen them going in final design to be released. Uh, some flops. The DSM. DSM has gone black. Uh, the women and men's team is all black. I kind of like the old Sunweb look where they'd roll out either the red kit or the white kit, depending on the race, with those two big bold stripes. I'm not a big fan of the new black look by DSM. Maybe if we want to talk about Bike Exchange, Michael, who are now riding on the Bianchi bikes, and they brought in some sort of a square uh, pattern on both their jerseys and the bikes. Yeah, the I personally, I don't like the DSM kit. It might just be a stark contrast to what we saw with Sunweb. I thought that was a great kit. Uh, another one that I think is, I, I've got to call it a flop, Live Racing, uh, the women's team. They've gotten with this weird hyper swing. Yeah floral design kind of expanding out of the shoulder and it looks like i i don't know it's it, it kind of looks more like a sea creature it's it's a bit much for me but uh you know you be the judge we're excited to see the last few team kits roll in for 2021 but congratulations to ag2r la citroen mondial unanimous winner at least among those of us here at flow bikes